Good morning, everyone. This is Carl F. Rose, recording from Bedford, Pennsylvania, on um, Monday, oh, what is it, Monday, December, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Uh, I just want to um, uh, say thank you for the service for all the veterans who are living, who are currently serving, who are retired, and who are re- uh, um, disabled veterans. Uh, it means a lot to me. But anyway, before I get going, let me put on my music. Okay, um, now uh, I need to get my disclaimer out. Let's get this. Okay, if you're 13 years old or younger, please leave this podcast now. These podcasts are not targeted for children in any way, shape, or form. So if you're under 13, please leave now. Okay, um, I'm going to try and make this podcast uh, quick. Uh, As I said, um, uh, this is Carl F. Rose uh, recording live from Bedford, Pennsylvania on on Monday, December 7th, Pearl Harbor Day. Wishing all the uh, veterans uh, 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 thank you for the service and um, uh, happy vet- uh, happy uh, Pearl Harbor Day and hope this is a good day for all of you. Um, the, the title of, of this or the thumbnail is going to say Death of the USA. Um, and sadly, what we are witnessing now, regardless of who takes the office, uh, the oath of office for president in January 2020, uh, this whole nightmare of an election has has actually altered the chain, altered America uh, forever. Uh, we are officially a communist country, no matter what happens. Um, is uh, that's just the way it is. Um, uh, this the too much corruption going on. Unless there's a miracle, unless the, the Almighty hand of God comes in and. Um, uh, strikes everything down. Uh, make sure makes sure that these corrupt politicians uh, don't get in. Um, but without that, um, even even if the even if Trump does take office on on, on January at, as a, for a second term, which he should because he actually won, what's going to happen is the crybabies on the left are just going to they're going to act like a bunch of two year olds. You're going to see everything burning down riots, cop shootings, um, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. And then if they're all happy with, with, um, with uh, Joe Biden coming in, well, his, his uh, policies are going to be just the same as like what uh, Hugo Chavez in Venezuela did. Okay, he's, uh, he's a puppet. Um, ch- basically, China, uh, China has basically, uh, when I think of the COVID thing and all this, this was a biological um, biological attempt. China, China did not have to uh, fire one nuclear weapon. They they destroyed us uh, economically. Um, they destroyed us uh, emotionally with 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 our government having to lock everybody down and keep everybody uh, locked in place. This is what China does to these pe- to to their people. They effectively did it to us. Uh, so they they defeated the United States without having to fire one single shot, and um, and one of the the, the uh, ministers, prime ministers, or whoever it is, a minister of, of something, um, not the, the Chinese president, but the, but he came out and publicly said how they're going to uh, tr- uh, overtake the United States by 2027. Uh, well, they've actually uh, uh, done that, and he said that they've actually he, he was. Uh, happy because everything's happening now, and it did. So, um, regardless of the situation, it's it's not going to be pr- uh, pretty. So now we're already seeing again another run on um, uh, toilet paper, and this is the f- um, there are nine steps to socialism, and in the less I was watching, um, uh, look for the channel, the truth, and um, or actually, um, um, oh, it's Lisa Haven and. Um, she talks about it, and I guess more on her membership site, uh, uh, Republic, something Republic. You'll have to go to Lisa Haven's, Lisa Haven's channel, and she has a membership site, kind of like I do, with my freedom of speech. Um, we're in a mess, no matter what happens, 
And um, all I can say is just you better buckle up, make sure you've got everything right with God, because um, uh, unless he intervenes, which which he could do on uh, uh, December 14th, we'll know December 14th. Uh, but I'm just giving you the heads up right now that the way things are right now, we're all, already uh, running. The country is already running um, uh, as a, uh, a communist type country. But just because of the way things are going, you can't find anything in stores. Prices are going up. And it, talking about prices, uh, if, if Biden takes in... Wait till you see your electric bill. Wait till you see the grocery bill. It's going to be unbearable. Gas will be anywhere from ten to thirty dollars a gallon. I, I I guarantee you that nobody will be able to go anywhere. And this is what their plan is. They're they're keeping us all locked into our place, and they're blaming it on COVID, which is which is a complete lie. Um, so uh, so, but if 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 trump is somehow we 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 squeeze by it's still going to be it's still going to be a nightmare because then we're going to have to just bolt down and we're just going to have to uh, fight off uh fight off the uh, lunatics who are having a temper tantrum uh from uh, like two year olds uh, but um even even if um biden gets in um we're still going to have to defend ourselves because some of these people they don't even they they're not happy with 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 Biden either. Uh, they're just their whole thing is just complete anarchy and they don't like anybody. So uh, it's going to be very interesting and it's not going to be pleasant. That's all I got to say. And um, I, I wish I could present more uh, positive um, podcasts, but. Uh, I'm a realist, and I just want to give everybody the heads up to just be prepared, um, have plenty of stuff on hand, and be ready to uh, defend yourself at all costs, regardless of, of, of whatever the outcome is. Um, it's it's not going to be pretty. Anyway, well, uh, with all that, um, please try and have a, a safe and happy, if possible, holidays Uh, with all this coming up, and uh, I will talk to you again next week. Um, Take care, and God bless.